In today's video, I'm going to show you seven effects you can do on your phone and look like a total pro filmmaker doing so. Full disclosure, CapCut did sponsor this video. CapCut is a free all-in-one editing app for iOS and Android. Easily edit your videos right on your phone, export for free without watermarks, and post your videos directly on TikTok. They have insane templates, animations, trendy effects, and an in-app audio library. Make sure to watch the full video. We'll do an advanced AI effect that will blow your mind. For the first effect, we'll start with an epic sky replacement. Something we have done a ton of times in the past, but being able to do this on your phone and getting really good results, it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to select my footage right here. I'm going to add it to my scene. Now I'm going to hit overlay. I'm going to add in as an overlay my sky that I want to replace it with. Scale it up using my two fingers. And then I'm going to also increase the length of my sky so it actually covers the entirety of my video. Now I can go over to the blending modes by hitting blend and then overlay. And then for my sky, I'm going to click on filter, adjust, contrast. You can increase or decrease the contrast for your sky so you can actually see it better. You can play around a little bit with these settings here to make sure that your sky actually comes true. Here is a before and after so you can see the difference. On to the second effect. All right, so for this effect, I'm going to import a portrait of somebody and we're going to change the eye colors. Again, super simple to do with the CapCut effect. So I'm going to head over to effects and then body effects. And in here, we can actually see a ton of cool effects that we can apply to our video. For example, eye reflection. And it's simply clicking on this and we already have an adjustment in our eyes. You can play with the intensity right here, play with the range of the glow. And for the color, you can shift here between all these colors. So being able to do things quickly, it's pretty awesome. Even when the person blinks, you can see CapCut actually realizes that and it generates really amazing results. Effect number three is green screen. So for this effect, the first thing that we need to import is our background and then we're going to import our green screen as an overlay and remove it. So I want to have this person look at Northern Light, which is pretty epic. I'm going to add that to my scene here and then I'm going to add in an overlay, which is going to be my green screen person looking at it. I'm going to add that to my scene and then I'm going over to the cutout option and I'm going to choose chroma key. Then select the color of your green background, head over to the intensity and then increase the intensity until you can't see the green screen anymore. Scale up your video to fill the frame and there we go. You actually don't really need green screen if you don't have the option, but if you record yourself against a normal background, make sure that you have enough contrast against the background. So when your background is white, make sure you're working with darker colors or the other way around. Then CapCut can easily remove the background for you without you having a green screen. That being said, I'm going to use this technique in the fourth effect, and that's a freeze frame effect. All right, so for this freeze frame effect, what we need to do is click on our footage and import it to our scene. Then we need to add an overlay and our overlay is going to be the exact same footage that we're going to add back to our scene. Then we're going to make sure that it's also scaled correctly because it's going to import it smaller. And then we want to cut it right on the moment where we want to start the freeze frame effect. Then we need to make sure that the background is removed. So we're simply going to hit the cut out effect and remove the background. You're not really going to see anything because the original footage is still on top of it. Then we're going to click back on this footage. Right here we see freeze. So we're going to freeze this effect. So now we start the video and it freezes on that moment with the cutout. So now we have our animation where we have the first frozen frame. The next thing that you wanna do is just keep on adding the same video on top of it, add it back to your scene, scale it up, remove the background, we trim this video clip, go all the way till the end and hit freeze once more and remove the last part here. And now you should have the complete effect, pretty cool. Now for the fifth effect, we are going to be doing text behind a person. So I'm going to select this video footage, I'm going to add it to a new project, and I'm going to click on add a text. And I also want to play with the style a little bit, so I'm just going to choose a cool title style. 
And if you want the foreground now to appear in front of the text, so you have a little bit of a parallax look, all you have to do is export this and re-import it into a new project. Add your original clip as an overlay and remove the background. Keep in mind that this works best when there is a person in the shot. So now we have our text behind our person. Then for a sixth effect, we're going to do a fake 3D effect onto a photo, which is a really cool effect to bring a little bit more of a dynamicness to your static shot. So I'm going to add in a photo this time. Then we are going over to style. And then right here, we have the 3D zoom perspective and it's generating in the background. And right here, you can see what a drastic transformation it does to your photo. And I know it's just a one click button effect in CapCut, but this is actually a really advanced effect to achieve with other more difficult software actually. And as you can see, they have a ton of other effects to experiment with. So I would highly encourage you to just go through them and just check out which ones work for you. All right, so now we have our last and seventh effect in CapCut, and that's going to be using AI to power our video and to make something really unique. So we're going to select our footage and all you want is to have a frame where you want to start the effect and you want to grab a screenshot and then send that screenshot to Delhi 2. So in Delhi, I'm going to be removing my clock and then I'm going to place in that same position a different clock. So I just ask the AI to generate me a clock. I keep doing this for a few variations and export these images to my phone. And then we're going to import our original footage. I'm going to add that to a new project. And then on exact that moment when I want to start the animation, I want to to add in a overlay and for the overlay I just want to add in the photos that I generated I'm also going to make sure it's scaled correctly make it just one frame long so now I'm going to select a mask and I'm going to select the circle mask because that's perfect for our clock I'm going to position that for the clock and I'm also going to scale it down quite a bit just try to get it as perfect as you can on your phone. And I'm just going to duplicate it by adding a copy. And all we have to do now is replace this with a different image. And again, hit copy and replace. And just make sure it's also in the right position. So I'm also going to reposition this clock. Of course, the more time you will spend on this, the better the results you will get. But this is highly inspired from these type of edits. You can actually use this in a ton of different and creative ways, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. Here is just the idea. Here are all the seven effects that we created in today's video in a row, enjoy. So these were the seven effects in CapCut. I hope you enjoyed them. Go out and try them for yourself. You can download CapCut with a link in the description below. It works on iOS and Android. And yeah, it's a lot of fun to just be able to edit on the go. And it's really a solid editor. You can create some amazing stuff in there. And this is just the beginning of creativity. Apart from that, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to stay notified when we upload new videos. And until next time, create epic videos.